Hi everyone, my name is Gethin Ellis and in this short video I will show you how you can quickly change the owners of multiple SQL Server agent jobs. Have you ever had an issue where the owner of a SQL agent job leaves their post and their Windows Active Directory login or even their SQL Server login gets disabled, removed or deleted or you've wanted to clean up some of those old SQL Server logins? Then after that you find out the login was an owner of a SQL agent job and the job stops working. I was doing some security work for a client recently and part of that process uh, involved changing the authentication mode of SQL Server from mixed to Windows, disabling the SA account, locking things down a little bit, removing components not used and reducing the surface area. Now as part of that process I wanted to clean up some old SQL Server logins that had been left lying about but the logins I wanted to remove were the owner of some SQL agent jobs. These jobs were still needed, they were still used, they were executing on a schedule. So in order to remove these accounts, I needed to change the owner of the SQL agent jobs. Now, there's an argument for setting all SQL, SQL agent jobs to be owned by the SA account. Okay, You might have a different approach, and others do, for example, creating an account or login specifically for owning them, but not making it SA. Okay? Whatever approach you take, um, you want to avoid having jobs owned by users whose accounts might get removed, disabled, and deleted, and then the job stops working. So if a user leaves and you want the job to continue, uh, set it to be a generic account, either SA or an account you've created, so when that person does leave, the job continues to function. So the first thing I wanted to do was identify all the jobs on the on my instance and their respective owners, okay, to allow me to see uh, the extent of the problem I was looking at. The query on the screen there returns a list of SQL agent jobs and their respective owners, okay. The query is doing a select statement from the sysjobs table in MSDB and it's doing an inner join on the DMV sys server principles to get the name of the job and the owner name from SQL Server. Now we can see there all my jobs are owned by a login called Gethin and we're going to want to change that to be SE. To update the SQL agent job owner, you can run a store procedure called SP update job, which lives in MSDB. You need to run that for each job you want to change. In my case, I've got 13. I've got to make 13 calls to the SP update, update job store procedure. Now to do this quickly, I'm going to use a script to create a script. So this is my initial query here. I'm going to take, I'm going to use the from and the join condition of my query and I'm going to amend the select. So I've got the same join, it's the same query, but in the select statement I've got some uh, literal strings. So I've basically got execute, naming the stored procedure SP update job in MSDB. I'm specifying the parameter job name, but then I'm breaking my string and I'm concatenating in the job name coming from the sys job system table. Okay, then I'm concatenating the rest of the calls of the store procedure, so we're specifying uh, a new login name. I want to make that SA in this case. I'm just going to change this to SA. If I execute this script and change the results to be text, not grid, click on execute. Down here I get, in the results of my query, I get a nice script for updating the jobs, uh, the job owners of all my jobs. So it allows me to do it very quickly and efficiently for 13 jobs. Now the reason I'm not wrapping this in dynamic SQL and doing it all automatically is sometimes I need to raise a change request. I can't just go and change the SQL agent job owners without going through some form of change control. So this documentation, this script generation allows me to do that very quickly. Uh, I've got my script there ready to go. It's going to change all my jobs. I click on execute, command complete successful. Then if I go back to my first query, which lists all my jobs and their respective owners, click on execute and we can see that the job now, owners are now all owned by SA. And if we go into the agent, go into my jobs, right click properties, you can see there the owner is also showing as SA as well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Gethin Ellis. Feel free to uh, share and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter. I'm Gethin underscore Ellis and connect on LinkedIn as well. Bye for now.